Hello and welcome to 502 Sessions. I'm your host, Brian Kirby. My guest today is the high energy bluegrass trio, Highways End. Highways End self-describe their music as blending the storytelling of country music with the grit of rock and roll and the instrumentation of bluegrass. Highways End can be seen at festivals and on stages throughout New England, and they're made up of Neil Haletke on guitar, Keith Barrett on mandolin and guitar, and K.W. East on bass. Highways End. You pick one out and load one up. The polished brass or the silver cup. If you won't tell me when I've had enough, then who will? So let's load out, I haven't had my fill. Driving south, I'm looking west. We're at our worst, we're really a hotbed. If you won't tell me when I've had enough, then who will? Cause I kept fighting and I'm breathing still. But the storm is rising. The air's coming out of the west like a wall. The storm is rising, and they'll be here to pay. If I don't fall, if I don't fall, so wrap me tighter than last time. If knuckle slips again, might be the end of the line. I don't know when I've had enough, but who will? And that damn towel bed stay right there on that stool. Because the storm is rising. Yeah, it's coming out of the west like a wall. Yeah, the storm. Rising, and they'll be here to pay if I fall. Either way, there's here to pay. I won't fall. You can always just put me back together. You can pick up the pieces and go home. If you find yourself lost in stormy weather, there's a doubt of home. Out there on your own, I know you're not alone. Coming out of the west like a wall. Yeah, the storm is rising. May be here to pay. If I don't fall. Many miles of this 
chances at birth I 
used to find great humor in death till I saw his face. And now the spoils of war has for my appetite for more. I'm on fire, gold ain't worth silver, silver ain't worth gold. There's no price I won't pay now. So shake and I shiver, shimmering like stone. And there's no price I won't pay to go back home. It take me home. It take me home. It take me home. Next one's a drinking tune. We've got rum, we got gin, we got tequila. We got whiskey and vodka and beer. We got wine, we got schnapps, we got everything you want. But a water, there's not a drop to spit. But I left my wife with a broken heart. With a broken heart, I left my wife. The marriage came with a broken star. I set sail on our wedding night. And all I gave my son was a bastard's chance. A bastard's chance I gave my son. Cause I saw that I had just one last chance. So I took a chance and I did run. 
And if the devil below us water Getting salt will give him tears And if the Lord up above says we ought to Burn his ships, we'll drink his meat And we will drown, we will drown, we, will drown. we got rum, we got gin, we got tequila We got whiskey and vodka and beer we got wine, we got shops, we got everything you want But a water, there's not a drop to spare Well, a sandy shore is a hail to me A hail to me is a sandy shore Oh, cause all I want is a deep blue sea The deep blue sea, she wants me more And if the devil below us for water Give us all We'll give him tears And if the Lord up above says we ought to Burn his ships, we'll drink his meat And we will drown, we will drown We got rum, we got gin, we got tequila We got whiskey and vodka and beer We got wine, we got shops, we got everything you want But a water is not a drop to spare tequila we got whiskey and vodka and beer we've got wine we got schnapps we got everything you want but of water there's not a drop to spare 502 sessions i'm here with highways end and neil haletti is you're the spokesman for today, at least. The other sure. two are standing behind you, the trio. So are you the spokesman because you write most of the songs, or are you just nominated as the That's role? why they stuck me with the role, yeah. I want to talk to you about the music writing, and so great sound, you guys, I must say. Well, it's nice you. and tight and um, clean sound, so it's great. Of course, you said in the description that you mix the style, country music style of storytelling in your songs, so usually I say, are you telling a story here? But obviously you're telling a story and the songs speak for themselves. But I want to ask you about a couple of songs. Are these fictional stories that come to you, or are they based on life experience? And here I see some commentary in the back, maybe. So, Empire, Plywood, and Dirt. So is that a fictional, or are we drawing back to that, That's actually about a story KW uh, told me about a band he used to be in, and a very enthusiastic, enthusiastic gentleman who uh, fronted that band in a, a trip they took to the Home Depot to uh, set up their, their practice space. Oh. And uh, I, I was so fascinated by the tale that I wrote that song about it. So the, they built a studio on, out of plywood on dirt? What? <laughs> so it sounds more like a homesteading thing about a family, I guess is what I was getting out of it. So wow, that's interesting. Yeah, they, uh, they had a basement practice space, it was dirt floor, so they, uh, they ended up putting down plywood to play on top of. And, uh, <laughs> and then you wrote the song. And I wrote a song about it, yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. You find inspiration where you can. <laughs> so where does the inspiration come from? So that's something that happened in real life. Is anything completely fictional? or? Um, some of them are fictional. Uh, Silver and Gold is a, a fictional tale. And, um, you find inspiration where you can. I can't really say where it comes from. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and uh, you just hope it keeps. You hope it keeps coming. So, silver and gold is completely fictional. Do you write stories as well? So, I know some of the bluegrass. If you go to some of these events, they're the storytelling. They do have storytelling events as well, and so uh, your songs are basically short stories. Yeah, there's. Uh, so, is every story you write a, a song? For the most part, I, I'm not much of a writer. Um, there's uh, there's books I would like to write if I if I was, but really, uh, I come up with stories in, in my mind. And since I don't have the wherewithal to write a book, I end up writing a song about the story instead. So, does the lyric, the story, come first, and then you set it to music? Do you are you strumming a thing and <laughs> humming along? Or? Depends on the song. Sometimes the music comes first, and then the words. Sometimes I come up with some words and find some music to go with it. All right, so talk to me about My Lies. There's a story. My Lies, there's a story. Um, that's just about the, the 
little untruths you tell in relationships. Not me. Young. You mean you? Or you, is, you, is, you, it, you. is it fictional it's here? Specific. Wait a minute. Is, this <laughs> fit, is, it, is that a fictional one? Or are we pulling that from real life? Or again, the people at Home Depot? Again, again, they come from real life and fictional. It's a, it's a mix, a mishmash. Um, that one, that one uh, came from actually a friend of mine uh, way back years ago. Uh, first experience with uh, online dating. He, uh, he flew down south to meet somebody and they no showed and there was, there was a whole story and, uh, and that song ended up coming out of it. Oh, okay. So the modern version is, the, the song you sound, it sounds sympathetic. The real story is kind of like, wow, that was a yeah, complete was, waste. Of, so you romanticized the story a exactly, little bit. Exactly, exactly. You write about your own life, but since my life is not is rather mundane, you know, you exaggerate uh, exaggerate stories to to make them more interesting. All right, a friend of yours met someone online, exactly, and a friend exactly. of yours <laughs> wasted money going down. Well, exactly. At least uh, at least it didn't end up being like some 400 pound guy in a dress that no. showed up and said, "Hey, I'm Jenny. How are you?" That would have been unfortunate. That would be a great song, though. That would be a good song. I think I think we'll write that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I I got to ask about not a drop of water. So. Reading some history, I know that people chose to drink alcohol because water was often tainted, and they had to drink beer and wine because the water was, which you just couldn't drink, it was bad for yeah. you. So I thought that's where the song was going. Apparently not. <laughs> well, it originated, it was just, uh, I, I wanted to write a fun drinking song. Um, you know, we play a lot, of, a lot of gigs around, and uh, those songs tend to go over well in the bars and so forth. And um, so I kind of got an image of like pirates on a ship, and. Uh, yeah, you know, I built it from there, built the story up, and uh, you know, brought my own things into it. And, and and when you're writing a lyric, does do you get a flash and it's out there, or do you get a kernel of an idea? So you sketch out what you want to write about, and the, the lyrics come slowly. Usually, I'll get a piece. I'll get I'll get some center that I, I decide oh, I want to write a song about this subject matter, or a chorus, or a verse, some some group of lyrics that I really like. And then I'll construct the whole song around it. And sometimes they'll come out in one piece very quickly, and uh, sometimes I have to wrestle with them for months before they're where I want them. And do you bring this, the completed song into rehearsal and say, here's a new song, and you strum and play it? Or do you collaborate with the music part of it? Um, usually they're not finished yet when I'll bring it to practice. So I'll, you know, I'll have a piece, I'll have that nugget of an idea, and I'll uh, play it to practice, see what kind of reaction it gets, see if it's something I want to keep working on, and uh, it'll grow up from there. Oh, see if it's something you want to keep working on. Exactly. So they can say, I don't like that, dump it, let's go on. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're very harsh critics. All right, <laughs> good, good. Neil is very prolific. <laughs> so he's got plenty, you can dump some and it's okay. You got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so they help with the lyrics or their own parts? Like, I'd like to do a mandolin solo here, this sounds like a bass part. Yeah, I'll come up with the basic structure of the song and the but lyrics. But you don't dictate, then, I want you to do no, this, no. And then, uh, you, know, you know, he'll stop playing an amazing mandolin solo or something like, all right, that's it, that's, that goes there. And, you know, we all find our own parts. And do, they, and do the lyrics, do they contribute as well? Say so maybe move this word? Well, Keith, Keith writes a lot of his own songs. Um, he writes a lot of fantastic songs. We're actually going to play one next. And, uh, okay, great. Highways <laughs> end. Let's hear some more music. Sure. All righty, thank you, gentlemen. Neil Halecki on guitar, Keith Barrett, mandolin, or are you on guitar now? I'll be switching to guitar. Keith Barrett will be switching over to guitar and KW East on bass. Spring of 1861 and Uncle Sam is calling my name I'm running off to war and I know that nothing's ever gonna be the same Marching past all the towns and places and the people that I used to know The crying eyes and faces at windows, well I'm sorry but I've gotta go And I'll see you're standing at the end of that road Crying, Johnny, be safe You gotta come back home I know I'm never gonna see the day When I see you standing At the end of that road The company marks for a hundred miles in the heat of the Maryland sun The cannon blasts and the musket fire And the sound of the fife and the drum Forward march to the roar of rockets And the screams of horses and men 
looking round, I start getting the feeling that I'll never see home again. And I'll see you standing at the end of that road, crying, Johnny, be safe, you gotta come back home. I know I'm never gonna see the day when I see you standing. Sergeant says that it's time to go, and so it's up and over the wall. You charge them fast and you give them hell, boys, can't you hear the bugle call? And I'll see you standing at the end of that road, crying, Johnny, be say, gotta come back home. I know I'm never gonna see the day when I see you standing. Standing at the end of that road Crying, Johnny, be safe Gotta come back home I know I'm never gonna see The day when I see you standing At the end of that road Wasting my time, yeah. Wasting my time, oh
Jesus too young to care So I'm taking it easy And just wasting my time Yeah, I'm taking it easy now Yeah, I'm taking it easy And just wasting my time Yeah, I'm taking it easy tonight Just wasting my time, yeah. Wasting my time, almost. This next song is about running away. She's been with me to the bitter end, but now I'm going home again. Cause I've been driving way too long. These roads are strange, and I don't know if I know the way back home again. And all the songs that we used to sing, I lost the times we broke that ring. So now I'm on my own. Yeah. Tell me stories of the past So when the future comes at last I'll know if I am home Let me go, just let me go Why can't the past ever leave me alone? Let me go, just let me go why can't the past just leave me alone? Just let me go. Well, I've lost my way and I've done my time. I made this run a thousand times, but now I lost my way. And I'm haunted by the memory of the man that I once used to be tonight. Lost my way. But if you love me once, you can love me again. Cause it hurts too much to be the end. But I, I'm on my own tonight. We burn too bright and we burn too fast. This kind of thing never lasts. I know. So I'm going home. Let me go. Just let me. Let me go, just let me go When will the things that I've done leave me alone? Just let me go, just let me go Oh, I'm haunted by the heart that I have grown Let me go, just let me go Oh, I can't Just let me go.
This one just might be the last song I'll ever sing. Tomorrow come and change it all. I'll give up everything. So I can have a nine to five and a mortgage to pay off. I'll have a dog in the yard and two cows in the garage. Yeah, ain't that the way that it's supposed to be? Yeah, ain't that the American dream? my home so I can be a good worker be just another mindless drone yeah ain't that the way that it's supposed to go yeah ain't that the world I know I say you better hurry up or you'll lose your place in line Five O Two Sessions. I'm Brian Kirby back again with Highways End, and this time I have to the front Keith Barrett because you wrote the first song of that. I did set, yeah. which was the name of the song again escapes me. End of the Road. End of the Road, and it was a Civil War song. Yeah, of cannonballs. Yeah, right. So it's sort of just sort of built around the image of uh, someone you know walking off to join the war and leaving someone behind, and the sort of conversation that might have happened, you know, if they'd been able to talk to each other across the distance. So that's the one song that Neil allowed you to play today <laughs> in the Neil he Halecki trio. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Highways End. Neil, I'm just Neil joshing is, with you. Yeah, so. Neil is the hair to my tortoise on songwriting. It's, uh, he writes a lot of songs, and I write very few songs. Oh, oh I thought you yeah. were quite prolific as well, someone mentioned. No, no, not, not nearly as much as Neil. He so. writes the better songs. Oh. Okay, so one, one of yours is worth nine of his. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> it so. takes nine times the time, at, at the very least. So a Civil War song, I'm saying that's fictional. It didn't come from... <laughs> yeah, certainly well, not personal experience. Um, and you didn't read it in a book or Grandfather's History or no, anything? No, yeah, it's just, I'm sure, you know, I've seen a photo somewhere of, you know, some Civil War vet, you know, sitting, you know, with his uniform on, and it's sort of that image. I've noticed you know. something in the bluegrass style. 
the Civil War comes up a bit, and mm. trains. Yeah, yeah. And songs of desperation and women, of course. Yep, yep. There's a good tradition of, of murder as well, yeah, and some, you know, whiskey distilling. So how much, <laughs> I guess, how much do you guys know about the history of bluegrass when you come into bluegrass? Do you just start picking, or do you go back and, and listen to all the old records? Um, I say that because as a... The, my musical training, we, I, I did formal training as mm. well, but also just to learn the style, you know, you listen to a ton of jazz bass players and yeah. you have music history class where you yeah. listen to that and you have to identify people. So how does that play into bluegrass? Do you need to know the history to write the songs? Do you need to suffer? Yeah, well, <laughs> hopefully it's not suffrage. Uh, or hopefully you're not <laughs> suffering <laughs> suffrage. Hopefully you're not suffering too much. But uh, bluegrass is definitely really steeped in its own tradition. You know, there are a lot of very traditional players. Uh, we are not very traditional. Um, when I listen to bluegrass music, I usually listen to more modern and more progressive artists. Um, you know, I, I grew up playing rock and roll. I met Neil playing in a, uh, a rock band. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's the tradition that I come from. Um, and, you know, I, I really enjoy bluegrass music, and I, and I do listen to a lot of it, but it's not, it's not that I grew up, you know, listening to Bill Monroe or anything. It's just Let me stop you there. So uh, these festivals or... Um, and I guess I'll say festivals because that mm. would be a group of people as opposed to if you're doing a club day and it's just you. Mm -hmm. Is there a dividing line between the traditional bluegrass and people, I guess you'd say you're more modern bluegrass, yeah. cause you, wait, because you plug in. Is that yeah, the right. defining so we, thing? Yeah, right. We plug in. Um, you know, the songs that we play are not all, you know, three chord or four chord songs. They're not traditional songs. Um, I think there used to be more of a, a strict rule in bluegrass about um, people really disliking bands with drums or bands with electric bass and that sort of thing. Um, and I think that's sort of breaking down, particularly in New England. Um, you know, it's it's really, you see a lot more young bands and, and really great bands um, that are really experimenting with what the bluegrass setup can do musically. All right, well, let's hear some more music. Is that all right? Sounds A couple great. more songs? Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, Keith, Neil, and KW. Actually, KW, step up to the mic for a second. Before we go on, say a few words. <laughs> so you're the bass player in the group. Yes. And some of the bluegrass bands I see, I was starting to think maybe the bass player doesn't sing. But of course, as I see online, a lot of the bass players sing. But you're my first group where the bass player comes in to sing. So is bluegrass your first music? Did you rock and roll? Or you? Well, um, this is my first bluegrass band, or bluegrass influence band uh but uh i definitely grew up listening to the music and the reason i ask about the singing part were you in another band prior like a rock band yeah you I, yes yeah, so i've been in you know i've been in rock bands folk groups things like that so you've well. always been a singing vocal harmony yeah and I, yeah actually i i typically would play guitar this is uh oh yeah this is um you know i've been in other bands where i played bass this is the first band i've been where i've played upright oh no kidding yeah. all right and so when you're harmonizing, do you ever want to get out front there? I'm not saying anything. I say, do they hold you back? Yeah, and you're you like, know, oh, um, are you the Ringo Starr of the group? I, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Here's I, your tune. I, you know, we, I, I sing a couple of the cover songs that we play, you know, when we play out. Um, I, I'm not terribly prolific as far as songwriting goes. So so if, to, in order to, so no one has written a song and said, I want uh, KW to sing this one. No, that hasn't happened. We say that about every song, but he, <laughs> <Yeah>. he refuses. <laughs> okay. All right, now let's hear some more music. Okay. Thanks, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. They fill up the bars on the weekend Just to catch a glimpse They show like a star The sun beacon My soul is sinking shit Oh, Josephine Have I met you Some long forgotten dream And was it a sin to have left you, let you love again, oh Josephine. Oh, what can I give you, oh Josephine? They all seem so unfair. They all play guitar like they came straight from the crossroads at midnight, where they gave it all. Once y'all had the chance to kiss your eye And they sing songs about rain and the thunder And the bad things in the night For you were the sun that came shining Made everything all right Oh, Josephine, has it all been for nothing? 
of Josephine Did I love in vain
Highways End on 502 Sessions. Thanks very much, you guys. It was great having you. Great songs, great stories, great sound. Neil Halecki, composer, guitars and vocals. K.W. East on bass and vocals. And Keith Barrett on vocals, mandolin, and guitar. Thanks again, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. 502 Sessions, we're all about original music. So if you're a musician or you're in a band or a group of musicians and you have a lot of original music, don't hesitate to contact me at 502sessions at gmail.com. I respond to all emails and I check all links and you can see more shows at 502sessions.com. I'd like to thank Dennis Sullivan and Evan McNamara today for cameras, audio, setup, and all that. They make us look good. I hope. I hope they make me look good. And I don't know until I see it later. So, Thank you again, gentlemen. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, would you like to play us out? Let's do it. Sure. All right. <coughs> Highways end. <laughs>